Hello and welcome. Um, another tutorial here. I said I've been doing it, uh, been uh, meant to do it ages ago. Sorry. Um, so if you have stumbled upon this, um, this is a tutorial from a tutorial base uh, research channel. Um, if you haven't seen any of the videos, go and have a look at them. Um, yes. Okay, right. What we're going to be doing today is uh, cropping and colorizing a black and white uh, image. So I'm going to be using this one, which is uh, Callisto. I have done a video on Callisto. This is very, very interesting. Now, the reason for cropping some images and just to know anyway, um, some of these images come in very, very large. And uh, for those of you who haven't got a super duper um, computer that can handle the the information um, you might have to chop the image up um, to be able to uh, in, enlarge the um, size of the images or basically the, the pixels so you can actually work on it and your computer doesn't um, blow up basically so it's something you'll have to experiment with uh, this comes in very large um, and you think it'd be enough, but it's not. They um, they do cheat a bit. The the actual pixel count in the images are is very low, but the file size is very large, so um, you still can't get away with getting close enough into the image to get the details out. But I've demonstrated that in in the other tutorials, and I explain it as I go along in some of the videos as well. Um, any problems obviously leave in the comments and I'll and I'll get back to you because the goal is to get people to do this themselves um, because uh, it's the only way to know for sure or at least um, what the uh, the photographs and images are the information that it's giving out is quite incredible so let's go here so i'm presuming this is the image that you've got from your down you've pulled it from your download file um you would right click on it and um it will give you the option what to open it in open it in gimp obviously okay so what you want to do initially is um file save as don't worry about this because this is actually the fourth time i've done this video because <laughs> i've been having problems again but there we go. Okay, so um, I've got a file in my um, uh, All Planets file tutorials uh, for you guys. So we're going to do that. It will normally, the file will come in just with the PIA number. And I do recommend um, labeling everything. Um, because when you get to the stage where I am, where you've got about 1200 images, it gets very confusing if you don't label them makes sense obviously so what we're going to do we're going to save that and just so uh, you can see there it is in the file okay now presuming that you've got the rulers set up in your um, interface um, which and you can sort all that stuff out in preferences um, in the edit section um, but there's a, a site I used on oh, I'm always doing that um, site I used on uh, YouTube uh, called Davies Media Design very simple explanation they helped help me uh, set up my interface etc um, etc et so i'm still learning this i'd have used photoshop for years and this is slightly different and there are bits and bobs i don't know but basically for the research you want to learn about um is very simple tools um which is the great thing about it okay so this is your crop tool and what i was saying from here you can actually pull out these these are guides now you don't really need to use guides on this one because it's 
you can see what you're doing but on a, on a solid image for example you might want to cut this up say you were cutting this into six pieces or something it all makes sense so you've got your crop tool um, and you can start from anywhere and go in that was snapping to it anyway don't worry about that okay so what you do is press enter and go file save as now you'll notice it's got the the same name so what we want to do is get rid of that and we can write let's just put that on no if I press caps lock it will stop okay left side save okay I'll just show you it's there okay what you want to do is go edit uncrop so it takes you back you're back on your and go to the next side press enter doesn't matter file save as so it always have the name of the, the last one that you did. Okay, save, edit, undo crop. Now if you wanted to do this in all, you could have worked on this one straight away. Um, you can use that, but these are quite self-explanatory. But if you want to put these um, sections back together uh, at any point, this is why I'd use a guide. So you've got your crop tool and slightly go over because you're going to be overlapping. It just gives you a little bit of meat to play with. So we do that. Enter. Save as. Now it's up to you how you want to how you want to label this stuff. Okay, I'm going to go number one. Save, go back, edit, undo, and just carry on like that. Um, I'll just shift this. Just do one more. Number two, save. So, and, and if you want to get rid of these guides at any point, um, where are we? Guides, remove guides. I've got to find out how to use move those individually. There will be a way, but I haven't found out yet. Okay, right, so that's what you want to do. You can do that as many times as you want and then just work on the individual pieces and enlarge them however you um, however you, you want to, basically. Okay, I hope that made sense. If you have any problems, just leave in the comments and I'll, and I'll get back to you. Okay, next thing we're going to look at. Um, just some of the black and white images um, you can view better under different colors it's a, and again it's, it's something you need to experiment with um, this is Ganymede by the way all I've done is um, contrast on this just just so it visually looks a bit better for us at the moment so this is coming from your downloads you see so I'm going to go into my files tutorials diddly 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 and I will just save that there now these images tend to come in as grayscale 
I did show this on um, briefly on the last video, which was Pluto, I think. So that's a grayscale there. Now to do any color work on it, you're going to have to change it into RGB. So if we look back, there's RGB, and then you have all your color options and stuff as well, like your brightness and contrast is in there. So go down to colorize. You can change it. Like I say, you, you experiment with this and um, see what you like. See what looks better to you. Um, let's say you like that. Um, blues work quite well. Um, I did look at something the other day and there was a red that looked, you could see a lot more on it straight away. Uh, right, and basically you would OK that file. What did I just do? Well, save as. Um, literally right, colour on it or something. Save. Okay, so if you're going to do anything before you do any of the, 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 the nitty gritty work on the images, just cut them up if you need to cut them up, um, colorize them, whatever you need to do, um, label it all before you start doing anything. Just saves a lot of confusion. It, it took me weeks to sort my files out after a few years. Um, so it just makes everything um, a lot easier. So you can go into that file and there you have, um, well, there isn't the black and white one, so I don't know what I did there. So you have all the various bits. Okay, any problems like say leaving the comments, I um, hope that helped and um, I will see you guys soon. I've got a, a mental video coming up. I was working on it yesterday and uh, well, it's it's cool. It's cool. They all are. They all are. It's all mind boggling stuff. So, okay, cheers and goodbye.